Alright, so I went to a few raids and outbreaks or something like that. Uh, no shinies, but whatever, really. Uh, this is a team I'm probably going to take to the ice gym. I can explain a few things, but yeah. Bottom two look interesting, but it's for a different reason. Okay, so I've got Matador for a start. Uh, apparently fighting is good against ice or something like that. I've also got Raging Ball, but because I've got the fire type one, it's actually a fire type attack, I'm pretty sure. And next I've got Keys. Uh, not sure how this is going to go. Um, flash Cannon's pretty good, Metal Sound. It might help with uh, Flash Cannon, maybe. So I've got Weevil. Really should um, name it sometime. Anyway, Brick Brag's pretty good. Ice Shard, maybe for something else. Metal Claw, because that's good against Ice. And it's also like my Terra Fighting one. I felt like Rocket's meant to be good against Ice, but if not, I've got Heavy Slam and Hammer Arm. So I've got Sludge, um, sort of for. Um, what was it? The ghost type gym? I had a few problems with it. Uh, the Nimona fight. Uh, most of my team was weak to fighting. So, ground completely resists electric or something like that. And poison resists fighting, so yeah, it's good. And, yeah, then I've got Meowth because, well, yeah. I think there's a Nimona fight. Alright, so the Garchomp I got um, evolved or something like that when I was leveling it up. Tried to evolve Finnison or something like that, but apparently to go in co-op, uh, you actually need friends, you can't just go in with randoms. Apparently this is like the highest point or something like that. Uh, I'm not sure why I was here, but yeah, I was here. It's a quick way to the gym. Alright, so with the Terror Raid battles, uh, I thought you had to finish all like eight gyms or something like that, but apparently I've got four stars now. And I'm not sure if there's some special thing to do with fairy types because there was a Florges and a Mimikyu thing. I would need to connect to the internet to show you and can't be bothered doing it right now. Oh yeah, I also got the phone call about Arvin talking about the worm, but the weird thing is I was like two kilometers away from it. Um, I don't know. I think I was looking around here because I thought there was something interesting here and uh, the worm's like over there. The Mota's first Pokemon is a rock or something like that. Yeah, fighting's fine for it. Yep, of course she is. Apparently my two least favourite people were talking to each other. Everyone else seems cool, they're just like the worst too. Uh, maybe some gym leaders are the worst, but no. Oh great. Is it gonna be like the last one? Because she's gonna make me fight her after the gym? I have no clue. So we've got Jim Leader Grusha or something like that. I think when it was real, everyone thought it was a female, but it's actually male. I'm just meant to be Grusha. Here at the Gastia Gym, uh, means doing the snow slope run. I've actually seen this thing before. I think it's in Living Sport, but I can't think of what it is. Basically, it's the one where you ski down the thing, but you have to go through the uh, hoops or something. Through the flags? I don't know. How far up the mountain do I have to go? I'm not sure if he's being mean, but he seems too nice to be mean. This is not the challenge area, maybe it's the gym battle area? Yeah, not sure. Oh uh, yeah, apparently this is the talk to this guy. Quite the tan you got for living in the ice there. Too bad, let's go. I really want to remember what sport this is, but I can't think of what it is. Let's go! Oops. Yeah, it seems with the, how you move the joystick is how fast you go or something like that. Well, if you move forward, you go a bit faster, move it back, you sort of stop ish. Some of the best sliding I've ever seen, but she not as good as Grusha about 20 years ago. Make up your mind. Good. I'll talk to your brother who is less tan. Yep. 
Sub-Zero Shredder. Uh, is that meant to be like a snowboarding thing? Maybe. Hi. Thought you meant to be bigger. Also, sometimes I feel bad for like my trainer. Gosh, they're like always shivering. I guess it's because I got the summer clothes on. I don't think the winter clothes would be much better though. Will he give it a nice stone? How do you reckon I feel? I think Shredder is either a skateboarding thing or a guitar thing. Uh, I don't think it would be playing a guitar up here. So yeah, we've got Crusher, snowboarding, used to be a pro, the gym leader. Yeah, well hopefully I should smash you on. Two levels higher than your highest Pokemon. Hopefully that should be enough. Winter mountains are dangerous, they can throw your life right off course. I was up there at the start of the episode, I think I'm fine. Same thing with Pokemon battles. It's always the most dangerous when you're starting to get the hang of things. Actually, I lost about four Pokemon to the first gym and I've been going pretty well ever since then. I don't think you're going to be that much of a problem. Shaking in his boots already. You're too bad I'm here. It's literally freezing out here. Don't take it personally when you lose. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. What do you have to be in? Oh, maybe it shows it later. You know, it would almost be a shame if that was four times weak to five. Weird. Oh, crit as well. Ah, uh, bear tooth fine. I think it's pure ice. I'm definitely faster. Uh, we'll see how it goes, but... Mm, 90's not too bad, I guess. Oh, so close. Um... Probably gonna have to change after this. That was sort of hard hitting. Okay, so Titan, I'm pretty sure it's pure ice. Brick Break is pretty good, I might as well, like, terror type for this, considering I have a darker ice is bad. I think Biting Resist, maybe? I don't know. Brick Break 75 power, something like that, is whatever, really. Uh, it's like 50 power, so yeah. Press slides, let's go. Yeah, it's pretty tanky. You should probably see. That's whatever. Flying good against fighting. Right. Okay, if it's flying dragon and I resist the dragon, yeah, probably go with keys. I mean, it's probably going to be ice, but still could have those moves. Yeah, might as metal sound, why not? from this hurricane I'm fine. Unless I hit myself. Let's just do flash cam and see how it goes. so many things, but yeah, full stop. Pretty sure it's Kira's uh, confusion as well. 
the better history of confusion again. No confusion, come on. Oh, right. Don't you dare. burning passion you have you stray f for the future no matter what challenge faces you you face just give me my TM already oh, I forgot about the gym badge sure give me the picture oh, I'm sorry are you too famous to have a picture I mean the pokeballs sort of cool I guess with eight gym badges you should be able to catch Pokemon on any level and they should listen to you. Does Grusha actually have a beard or is that just fan art? Ice Spinner. I think that's new. Um, it's just like a status move or something like that. Uh, cover your feet in ice. Spin around, slam- oh no it does damage. Slamming into the target. This move spinning motion also destroys the terrain. That's cool. Let me heal, Nimona. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Um, Fairy is immune to Dragon. Well, dragon can't do anything to Fairy. And Ice does half damage to Steel, so... Maybe... Flying... Plus neutral damage? But, we have that kid nothing. Mm-hmm. All I have to do is beat the Elite 4, then I get in... We'll get to do free play mode. Now that you have gathered 8 gym badges, it's time to do the Champion in the Elite 4. If you will stand alongside Mona as fellow champion. Head to the Pokemon League so you can take the champion assessment. Hmm. Seems you don't battle Mona here. Okay. Uh, what am I meant to do for the next, like, 10 minutes or something like that for the episode? It's unusual for me to see her so excited. Though perhaps not for you. Damn you, Nimona. Yep. Oh, this is like a really small town. It's just the um, gym, uh, the Poke Center, and um, not too much else. But yeah, so I was like looking at this thing because, yeah, it seems interesting. Not sure really what it could. No, not sure what it really could be, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so because I finished the gym test and like. 40 seconds, and there was no Nabona fight, um, yeah, who wants to see me one tap a level 30 worm, that's like 20 something, who cares, Matador, you're up for it, aren't you, great, you backed into a corner yet? I got him. Well, it probably wasn't made of steel, apparently. you here yet? Nah, oh, probably has to go to like a cave or something. Hmm. 
that little white? I think we've got Arvin here to see what level is meant to face this Titan at. That's Loki still Titan. Well, it sure is long. Yep, long boy worm. Hey Arvin, I've got a level 50 fire type. We are absolutely fine. Alright, so Arvin has a level 30 ground type. Huh. Shame. Ha! Ah, good fight. Yes, Arvin. We did it. Uh, it's okay. Yep, all herbs. I'm surprised there's no blue herb, but I think that's white. Last herb. Well, uh, I guess it makes sense if it's salt. Uh, the salty herb helps with aching hands and feet. When you got muscle weakness, it supposedly builds up strength again. Last time I'm gonna hear that. Trusty Oven's Choco Block for Cheer Final Herb Super Sandwich. I'm not gonna eat it. That's a lot of salt. I mean, technically I could just put like five serves of salt on a sandwich. That'd be basically the same, sure. If I got this sandwich earlier, it would have been like different animations or something like that. Because apparently this hurts with sore hands and feet. We're gonna play with your favourite ball as much as you want, just like we used to do. Oh yeah, by the way, I've not been talking to your mother this whole time. She's mine, Arvin, not yours. Seems like Karadin's gained all his powers except for the power to battle. Press the B button to jump higher. Press and hold the B button. Yeah, that is a high jump. How did you know I was the right one? Arvin literally gave me his Pokeball, or the Pokeball, after I fed him in the fight. I'm not sure who he's talking to with that, uh, well, that voice. Arvin, you there? I've been searching for so long for a way to reach you. Hmm. If only she rang me like 30 seconds earlier. Like any of those times. Because no one else can get into my lab but you. That's right, Arvin. Open your mother's lab. Oh yeah, so a weird thing I heard. Sort of makes sense or something like that. I thought it was Scarlet and Violet, people are calling them Pokemon Mummy Issues and Pokemon Daddy Issues. Uh, Arvin has a problem with his parents. Please take him back to the lighthouse with you, to the lab on Poco Path. Oh yeah, I did see that the lab was closed. And then I needed to climb the lighthouse at the start of the game. Well, it's a shame it's going to be after the, the Elite Four that I'm going to do that. I will talk to you again when you get there. I guess you probably know already about that. That's my mum. Just guessed that or did I not know that? Was I not meant to know that from the start? I don't know. Always buried under her work, uh, pursuing her research, 
never at home. First time I've heard her voice in years, you know. The first thing I get to be is treated like some kind of errand boy. How an errand boy do those errands? She's seriously unbelievable. But I'm guessing you and Karadon probably want to go. No, I can wait a bit. Not gonna lie, I feel like my blood's boiling. I'll get you into the lab. What else can I do? That's the useless trainer we all know. The lab is off Poco Path at the lighthouse where you met me. Let's get moving before I change my mind. Where have you been this whole time? Oh yeah, so the lighthouse is here. It is easily flyable too, so that's cool. Um, oh yeah, so apparently you have to fight Arvin there. Well, there's an Arvin fight, but it's probably like level 70 his Pokemon. Probably more like 65 when I think about it. Anyway, uh, one cool thing uh, that I've seen from it is the five Pokemon he uses for the Titans. He like uses them in, in the battle, plus he is Mabostiff. And the weird thing I was thinking of is what does he do about the Squavid or something like that? But the Squavid is actually the Pokemon he uses in the Dragon Titan. It's like the Greedent then. And yeah, uh, what's he got? He's got his Scavillan, Mabostiff, Squavid, Toadstool, and then I think I, re I forget the other two. Yeah, well. Oh yeah, he's also got a Nackley, doesn't he? And... What's the other Titan? Quaking Earth is Skull Villain. That one's Nackley. Oh right, Stony Cliff was the... Uh, shelter. Okay. Wait, is that seriously how high you can jump? Yeah, mostly. Yeah, it's uh, pretty high. I think that's like normal jump or something like that, and that's like high jump. I don't know, really. Anyway... Yeah, I don't know, I guess I'm going for a raid or something like that. Uh, gotta somehow level my Pokemon up to like... 64, 65 for the Elite Four. Just because the champion is like... Level 62, I normally go like two levels higher. Or something, and... Yeah, I don't know. But, yeah, well, 